um, fascinating story and time history of origin of life and how it evolved. The question is, do you think the origin of life is same as origin of consciousness? I'm, I'm pretty much a gearhead, so I think consciousness is a kind of OS and needs something to run on. So I think that if you start at this, the state of sort of conscious sensing in the world of the progenote or the world of microbial communities, which is 90% of the history of life on Earth, is different than when complex organisms, plants, and animals come. Yeah, so my specific question is, isn't there an element of our living uh, universe or consciousness which is guiding the processes which led this matter, inanimate matter, to, to get into a, a living body? That, that, got, that process itself that moved it from A to B, isn't that process itself separate from the, what is happening to the inanimate matter? That, that's why in my dream, you know, I pictured the guy with the white beard. Did you, you know, because in a sense, any kind of complex system, an AI or a god or whatever, that could guide the origin of life would have had to have been informationally massive, right? Because it's dealing, in, in fact, it's implausible. That so, because it, the system is based on so much random outcome and so much tries and retries, I think a god would get very bored with the process very quickly. <laughs> Uh, I don't think it's necessary. <laughs>